April 2nd, Mark Palm. Are you willing to stand out? Everyone can make a difference somewhere. Mark Palm wanted to make a difference. He was a third generation aviator and he dreamed of seeing the world through a career in the military or commercial aviation. He looked for opportunity, he saw needs. At age 16, a youth trip to Mexico to give people roofs sparked an idea. Go where no one else has gone. At age 19, Mark first visited Papua New Guinea. When he returned to the United States, he met Kirsten. On their first date, Mark shared the desire of his heart to serve people no one else could. The Southern California girl from the big city didn't run away. Instead, she said she would share his dream. Mark proposed to Kirsten and she said yes. They said, I do. And for 10 years, they struggled to do what seemed impossible. Mark found odd jobs to support his family while he learned skills he would need as an aviator, engineering, navigation, and mechanics. Success came neither quickly or easily, but his labor of love built what seemed to be unimaginable. Mark founded Samaritan Aviation. He and Kirsten and their three children moved to Papua New Guinea, ready for Samaritan Aviation's first flight. Good Friday, April 2nd, 2010, marked the first medical mission in the only float plane on a 700 mile long Sepik River, a call to help a pregnant mother named Antonia. In heavy labor, Mark was Antonia's only hope. Without his help, her baby would die and the mother might die too. With a nurse on board and a medical team waiting at Borum Hospital, Antonia was grateful and gave thanks for her healthy son. She named him Mark. Mark said, life in the village made me understand the needs flooding, sickness, lack of medicine, lack of access, the things that are normal for us don't exist here. Over the next eight years that followed, Mark expanded Samaritan Aviation from one flight crew to a team of four pilots and six families to serve some 220,000 villagers, almost half the population of Papua New Guinea. They turned what would otherwise be a week-long canoe trip into a 45-minute flight for life delivering more than 100,000 pounds of medical supplies to 20-some aid stations, Mark and company also provided vaccinations that reduced infant mortality, midwife training, and hands-on education for better nutrition and hygiene. Mark realizes that not everyone will go to remote places as he and his family did. He believes anyone can make a big impact anywhere. Mark said, it starts with small things. Look around your neighborhood. Mark is convinced the mission field isn't only on foreign soil, it may be as close as the yard next door. The Bible tells us in Philippians chapter 4, verse 19, I am convinced that my God will fully satisfy every need you have, for I have seen the abundant riches of glory revealed to me through the anointed one, Jesus Christ. Are you ready to go to places that others won't? Are you ready to make a sacrifice for the sake of others? Are you willing to stand out? Everyone can make a difference. Hi, my name is Brad Hawkins, CEO of a cybersecurity company called SaferNet. And I just finished a great story about Mark Palm who committed his time and treasure for the purpose of taking care of a group of people that have been basically forgotten in the world. Um, he knew that God has not forgotten them. Matthew 25, 40 says, whatever you did to the least of these, my brethren, you did for me. Most of us, uh, sometime in our life, whether it be in college or in high school or, or even after that, is that we decided that we wanted to do something to legal, leave a legacy, to make a difference in this world, to, to leave our mark, I guess. Um, but we've got to look at what was our motivation? Why did we choose that we wanted to do that? Uh, are we doing it trying to make ourselves famous or are we trying to do it to do God's will and make God famous? Um, Matthew 6 20 says, store up for yourselves treasures in heaven where moth and vermin do not destroy, where thieves do not break in and steal. 
I challenge you to look at, at um, whose name are you trying to make famous? Are you trying to make yourself famous if we really look at ourselves? Or are we trying to advance God's will and God's way to uh, help people know him more? Um, I challenge you, what can you do today to make a difference for God? Music